In this video, I'm going to show you how you'll be able to download movies and watch movies directly on your iOS device. Doesn't matter what firmware. You could be on any iOS software and this will work. Stay tuned. If you're anything like me, you probably spent a ton of money on movies over the years. As you can see here, I have a ton of Blu-rays, DVDs that I've purchased over the years. Now, could you imagine going on a trip and having to carry all your favorite DVDs? It could be a large stack, maybe 20, 30 movies that you want to take with you on, at the beach or on a road trip. But how about if you were able to just have access to all these movies uh, at your fingertips on your iOS device? No matter where you're at, at the beach, at work, at school, at home, on a road trip, in the car, doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how you'll be able to get thousands and thousands of movies directly on your iOS device and be able to watch them anywhere that you're at with the internet connection. If you download them, then you won't need an internet connection. First thing we'll have to do is go into the App Store and we're going to open up the App Store and you want to tap on search and what we're going to search for is free video downloader now when free video downloader pulls up you'll be presented with this Ben Stevens uh, version but we want to go and get this one here 6400 people uh, downloaded this one already compared to 320 uh, this is the one that I have so you'll tap install and install it now I'm going to show you two sites that you will watch movies and download movies from the first site I'll show you is one that I don't really use that often but I'll show it to you anyways because it's completely free the second site I use every day because it has newer movies better movies better quality and uh, a, a lot more movies so probably th more movies in the thousands compared to the first site so make sure that you watch the entire video uh, so you don't miss out on anything and I'll have the links to the movie sites in the video description. Now once it's installed this is what the icon looks like right there video download. Let's go ahead and tap on that to open it and you get presented with this browser page with all these uh, bookmarks. What I would do is I would go ahead and hit edit unless you're going to use these bookmarks but let's go ahead and hit edit and let's close each one out. Now that you've deleted all the bookmarks you'll have the square here with the plus symbol tap on that all right the first website is called iosmovies.com so once you've have have it typed in you're gonna tap done at the top and you're gonna see the loading uh, circle right there on the square just go ahead and tap on that and it takes you to this uh, website here and uh, Let's see if we can find some new movies here. Just bear with me. All right, so I chose the most popular movies. And this is the page that it gave me. And let's go ahead and uh, choose Homefront just to test it out, see how easy it is. You're going to tap on this box right here. And it says to tap on that to download. As you can see, it's streaming. And you see that little uh, save disk right there. You tap on that to download. Then you're presented with this box right here. You'll tap done. Oh, battery's low. Tap done. And let's close out of this. Now, as you can see right there, you got a number one where it says download. And it shows that it's downloading. And it's almost done downloading. And after the movie is done downloading, you'll see a number one right there where it says video. Just tap on that, and you'll see that your movie's right there. Uh, you could go ahead and choose to watch the movie, or you can tap on browser and go back and find more movies. Hit the back button right there, go back to the page. 
and go ahead and find more movies to watch. Now let's go ahead and close out of this because I got another website that's my favorite site that I want to show you guys. This is the site that I go to every single day because I'm a movie fanatic. Go ahead and tap on that plus symbol again. And this is the site that we're going to. It's going to be iMoviesApp.com. iMoviesApp.com. And go ahead and tap done. And you're going to see the loading symbol again. Just tap on that. And it pulls you up to the big U. Now the reason why I like this site so much is because it is a lot more organized. They have newer movies and they have a lot more movies than you'll ever be able to watch in your lifetime. Uh, as you can see they have all these categories here and you can choose the categories. They have Flappy Birds app. They have music video downloads, MP3 music downloads. They have HD wallpapers. Uh, very cool stuff. Let's go ahead and find a movie here. Let me uh, show you uh, a couple of these sections though. Now as you can see here, this is uh, movies that have been released this week. We have, well, not this week. Let's see. That's an update. You got Draft Day, Oculus, Sabotage, The Amazing Spider-Man, Part 2. Look at that. Amazing Spider-Man. And you just tap on that, and it'll apply. Uh, let me go ahead and... Let's see what else they got. Well, I didn't check the site today. And they got Raid 2. Uh, they have another section called In Theaters. Let's go ahead and see what new movies we got here. Let's see. These are movies that haven't made it to DVD yet. Uh, Three Days to Kill. 300 Rise of the Empire. As you can see, Captain America, Divergent, Muppets Most Wanted. Look, these are movies that you're not going to find on that first site that I showed you. You're not going to find these movies at the store. You're not going to find these movies on Netflix. Okay? But you will find them here on iMoviesApp.com. And as you can see, this site is a lot more user-friendly. Uh, no pinch and zoom or anything. Let me take you to another section. It's called the new this week, or new DVD. There it is right there. And let's see what they have in this section here. Just to give you an idea. So as you can see, this site is more... Uh, it looks more like an app, like it would fit perfect on an iOS device. And as you can see, all these movies here they have. Ooh, Delivery Man. Let's go ahead and stream this. I love this movie. I've seen it in the theater when it came out. Now, if you want to download, tap that download button right there. Or if you want to stream it, just tap this. Let's see how long it takes to uh, get the movie going. Wow. Started right up. Just turn it sideways right there. Started right up. Look at the quality of that movie. That is high quality right there. HD quality. Let me turn the volume up. That is great quality. Well, I don't want to stream it too long, but uh, well, as you can see, this is the reason why this is my choice for a uh, movie site because it's a lot more user friendly it has thousands of more movies and a lot newer movies 
than the first site that I showed you. But, however, and, and you get the wallpapers, the, the music downloads, you get all this, but there is a catch, and I'll show you here. As you notice, my name is right there at the top, and I'm logged in. Uh, so you will have to have an account to have access to the site. Let me log out, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, think about that wall of movies that I had earlier. The wall of movies that I had earlier, think about how much money I spent on movies. For the price of one DVD, okay, one DVD, you can purchase a lifetime membership for $19.99. That's it, $19.99. I've had my account for over two years already, and I only paid $19.99. It's a secure payment. You could use a Bitcoin to pay it, uh, debit cards, credit cards, gift cards, Visa gift cards. But it's $19.99. You make your payment one time. It's not a monthly subscription like Netflix. Uh, you make one payment, and the account is yours forever. As you can see here, here's the new releases. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Captain America... These are movies that, that you won't find on Netflix. You won't find them on the first site that I showed you. And they even give you samples you can watch. Let's see. Rise of the Empire. Let's take a look at that sample. Look at the quality of that movie. This is a movie that's still in theaters right now. You're not going to find this type of quality for a movie that's already in theater, that's still in theaters. This is 300, Rise of the Empire. It's still out in theaters. Look at the quality of that. This is the kind of quality that you get uh, going, coming to this site. Well, there you have it. I showed you two sites that uh, you can get movies from using this application right here. So it's really up to you on if you want to pay the $19.95 and get a very good experience with newer movies and a lot more movies, or you want to go the, the cheaper route and not pay anything and you utilize the first site that I showed you. But I'm going to have both links in the description, in the video description, so feel free to uh, check out these sites. And if you felt that I did a thorough review on these two sites and hooked you up with these movies, uh, please like the video and subscribe to my video, uh, my channel so that I can make more videos for you guys. And you'll be up to date on my videos when I release them. And uh, leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite movie is.